Can we stop forcing budget cards into high-end gaming and blaming it on low VRAM? Let's talk about it. To start off, VRAM does not directly dictate the actual performance of a GPU by itself, but the VRAM amount limits how fast the GPU can actually run in certain situations. Imagine Usain Bolt, fastest man alive, but he's running in high heels. Even though he can run very fast, he's never gonna be able to reach his top speed running in those high heels. But give him a pair of running shoes and he can reach his full speed. And the same concept applies for a GPU with a limited amount of VRAM, and this is is not about forcing budget cards into high-end gaming. This is about having GPUs like the 5060 that are more than fast enough to run much better, but they are just simply getting suffocated by the limitations of the amount of VRAM that they actually have. And the true problem is that people, just like you for example, start to get used to paying $400 for an 8GB GPU and calling that a budget GPU, which genuinely should never happen, at least in my opinion. And then people buy those products not knowing that they're not getting a good deal, because not everyone is as tech-savvy as us. And and then the situation kind of becomes normal, and then Nvidia charges hundreds of dollars more because people will just buy the cards anyway. That right there is the actual problem. We are genuinely starting to forget the definition of a budget component. 